Okay, so today's the morning after she gave birth. She gave birth last night around, oh, I don't even know, I think 10. Uh, she had only one puppy, so he's a single 10. I wanted to record um, her actually giving birth, but I couldn't find the battery to my camera. Uh, so I did the first part of the video, mini clips here and there with my phone. So hopefully I can include it in this video. But here he is. He looks just like his mom. Nothing like his dad. And he's really, really tiny, as you can tell. It's very small. Hi, baby. Oh, yes, mama. You such a good mama. <laughs> So what I did, um, I actually got this box. It's a box from um, an Amazon order I had. And um, normally what I do, I get big boxes like this from Walmart and I'll set it up. Normally they're a little bigger than this. Um, but she's small, she has enough space here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean out her area and you know, give her a fresh blanket and everything. Um, but you know, this works. I did keep a timer on my phone uh, so I could keep um, an eye on her throughout the night. And every time that I came to check on her, she actually did very great. Like she would keep her baby warm. She would let him feed on her. And you know, she is a first time mom. So I know at first she was kind of like um, feeling a little weird with him drinking from her. But I think she's getting the hang of it and understands a little bit more of what's going on. Not chunchies. Mm -hmm. oh, your baby. It's cute. Very cute. By the way, the puppy's name is Bellamy. He is so cute. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a little video of me cleaning out her area. Just so you guys can kind of see. I know for the most part, um, just so you guys know, it is recommended to have something along the border of their whelping box area. That way she, the mother, doesn't, um, softly mommy, she doesn't suffocate her puppies as she sleeps or anything. Like I said, I make sure I keep, I make sure I keep an eye on them even throughout the time that I'm trying to sleep and I am not worried at all when it comes to Chonchi she's very she's a very good mom very softly mommy so cute huh she loves her baby no leave it mommy he wants to he wants to be warm so Chonchi's is actually a palm I produced from my very first litter my daughter's actually the reason why we kept her she wanted her they're pretty much best friends. So if you guys go on any of my social medias, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, you guys will see um, the bond that they have. I take a lot of pictures of them together. Huh, Natalie? Um, so that's why Chonchis is very comfortable when my daughter touches her puppy. This is actually the first time my daughter is touching the puppy. So you can tell that. Chonchis is not worried about it at all. Um, her, paw. her little paw, yeah. Okay, so I brought Taz to meet his baby. Let's see if Chonchis is okay with it. Because I know Bumpies gets a little crazy. Hi. That's your baby. That's your son. <laughs> That's his son, isn't it? Yay. Wait, Chunchi.
Hey guys, um, this is not how I intended this video to end, and this is not the video that was intended to come up next on my channel, but it's barely a nine in the morning, and, um, it's really hard. I had to get in the shower and just cry it out. Really try not to cry on camera. It's harder too, like when I saw Chonchi's this morning, she was just kind of like looking at me kind of desperate. And I already knew what happened because my boyfriend's the one that found him. And, um, uh, you know, I grabbed him, and I think it was fairly recent when he had passed because he was still very soft. You know, I was still able to move him completely, and so I grabbed him, and I start moving my hands around with him in between them, trying to create some friction, trying to see if I can revive him somehow. But even just looking at his face, I knew that he wasn't gonna come back when she was just looking at me and uh, man, she, she surprised me because she was actually a very good mom she you know anybody that's ever met Chunchi knows she's a little spunk you know she she's feisty she's a feisty girl so, when I seen the mother side of her, caught me off guard. You know, when Bumpy first had her mom, when she first had her, her litter, she seemed very aggressive. And it took a little time for her to warm up to her puppies. Trunches was one of them. And so, I was kind of on the fence if her personality plus, you know, what could possibly be written in her genes. Um, she would have been mean, maybe, to the puppy. I don't know. And, uh, she right away tried, you know, to keep him close to her. She'd kiss him. She was a very good mom. She is a very good mom. And that was literally her only puppy. And now he's gone. I don't know. Maybe she knows what's happened. I don't know. I mean, I, I took him. And she's still trying to be near him. Even this morning, like, I was looking at her. I was sitting on the floor and I was like telling her that I was sorry and uh, uh, she came up to me and she put her head down and it's like she was asking me to hug her and I gave her a hug and I was just rubbing her back and she was making these whimpering noises I don't know if you guys can hear the noises she's making She's definitely sad. I'm sorry, George. I mean, I know she's sad. And it's hard because she's still trying to be next to him and I have to take him away from her. I don't know if she's gonna be upset at me for it, you know, or if she understands that I have to do it. When he was born, I did notice that he was very different from the others. He was much smaller. His head looked a little bigger than his body. Some pictures you can tell, others you can't. I even had this discussion with my boyfriend yesterday, you know, I was telling him that I hope he pushes through because 
he's very small and he seemed very weak because there would be times where I'm hearing him eat or I would think he's eating because you can hear the little suction noises and uh, but sometimes I would get chochis and him and I would try to latch him on and he would want to he, he'd have a very hard time finding uh, where to eat from and sometimes when he would you know how well normally what puppies do when they're eating they're pushing against their mom to get the milk out I never once saw him do that uh, like I said he would have a very hard time finding it to begin with and when he would find it he would suck very softly on it and then he'd stop and it's like he would tilt over he was just it's like he had no energy and You know, I'm still fairly new at breeding. I knew that it was a possibility to lose a puppy. All the breeders that I know of and I'm closer to, um, they have lost a puppy, you know? So I knew that it was something that could have happened and I just always hoped that it would have never happened to me. Um, and it did. And. I mean, going through this experience is also a learning experience for me. I just wish that I was better prepared for this situation because then maybe I could have helped or done better and maybe he could have been here. You know, and I, I know it's like, don't guilt trip yourself and all that, but that's kind of where the reality comes because it's, if I would have been someone that's more experienced with these types of situations then I could have done more who knows if he could have still been here dang it just hurts it really does like I didn't think it would hurt this much and like the more I think about it the more sad I get you know in memory of him I wanted to put this video together and just put it out there you know and Just share the little time I had with them. That's what fucks me up too because I remember yesterday uh, after I filmed the middle part of the video I was like I wanted to record a little bit more uh, showing you guys just Chonchi's interacting with him and you know just a little update and I remember I was like I'll do it later I'll do it later you know I was trying to push it off it's later and it's too late you know and it's I should have just took in the video you know because things happen you know that could have been the last of it I could have had a little bit more even though it's sad news I hope that you guys enjoy the little bit of memory that we have left of Bellamy I just wanted to add um You know, uh, I said like I wish I was more experienced for for this this type of situation. Maybe he could have been here. To become experienced, you have to go through shit and learn. You know, you can't just always learn things from a book. You gotta experience it sometimes. And I mean, that's the only way we get better. You know, sometimes we can help it whether we're experienced or not, and sometimes we can't. It just happens. Like, I don't want to accept it. You know, I don't want to accept it. I don't... Where did this little guy go?